students in the last class we have discussed the structure of cell plant and animal cell and there we were discussing about nucleus as you can see in a plant cell the nucleus is shifted to one side that is because of this large vacuole present in the center but in an animal cell the nucleus is centrally located now there are some parts like chloroplast which is present only in plant cell but centrosome that is present only in animal cell so this is the basic idea about a cell now next we will now discuss in brief about the different cellular components to start with the first one is cell membrane what is that cell membrane as i have discussed the cell membrane it is the outermost covering layer in a in an animal cell what does what are the characteristic features it is the outermost part in animal cell it is a living membrane and this membrane its composition is it is made up of lipids and proteins or you can say it is lipoproteinous in nature what is that lipoproteinous in nature what else what are the other features present in this cell membrane it is also called plasma membrane so what is the other feature it has pores on its body on its surface and hence it is semi permeable that is semi permeable coming to the functions it separates the cellular contents from surroundings means all the contents of a cell they are confined inside this plasma membrane number 2 it maintains the shape of the cell number 3 it is selectively permeable means it allows only selected substances to enter into the cell hence this plasma membrane or cell membrane it is also called selectively permeable membrane coming to the next that is cell wall it is the outermost structure which is present in a plant cell surrounding the plasma membrane and this is absent in an animal cell it is non living freely permeable means it is it allows all the substances to enter in solution form into the cell the last one that is its composition is it is made up of cellulose coming to the functions it gives shape and rigidity to the plant cell makes the plant cell rigid provides protection from the external environment allow substances in solution form to enter and leave the cell right children now coming to the next part that is the cytoplasm what is this cytoplasm now see the cytoplasm is this entire content which is present inside the plasma membrane this part it is actually a jelly like material which is present within the plasma membrane and in this cytoplasm this all these organelles they are found widely distributed within the cytoplasm now see children this jelly like substance which is present inside the plasma membrane of a cell is the cytoplasm it contains all the cell organelles now what is the function all the metabolic activities of the cell all the functions of the cell which are carried out that is actually done in the cytoplasm and how is that done by the help of the different organelles so different organelles are assigned different functions and what else is the function of cytoplasm as you have read in respiration there are two steps one is glycolysis and the second one is the krebs cycle now you see that production of pyruvic acid that is the initial step in the process of respiration that is carried out in the cytoplasm so we have discussed up to cytoplasm 
Next, coming to the next organelle, that is endoplasmic reticulum. What is that endoplasmic reticulum? It is an irregular network of double membrane tubules which are present within the cytoplasm and it connects the plasma membrane to the nuclear membrane. It has ribosomes. If the ribosomes are present on its surface, it is rough endoplasmic reticulum and if ribosomes are not present, then it is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. What is the function? Just like we have skeleton in our body, like that, this endoplasmic reticulum, it acts as a skeleton of the cell and hence provide supportive framework for the cell. And what else? It helps in the synthesis and transport of proteins and fats. Coming to next organelle, a very important organelle that is mitochondria. What is the shape of mitochondria? It is spherical or rod shaped, double wall membrane bound. Then the inner wall of the mitochondria, it is thrown into numerous foldings like this. If this is the mitochondrion outer membrane, then this inner membrane, it is thrown into numerous foldings and these are called cristae.